This is Eric here at Perkins Motorplex in Paducah, Kentucky. Going to get you a quick video walk around of the Silver 2010 Ford Expedition. This one's stock number B57671. Does have uh, one uh, key fob button and then you've got one extra key. Uh, start it up and unlock the doors. Uh, pretty nice Expedition when given the year in miles uh, as far as the overall interior condition and features the biggest thing with this one uh, as mentioned in the listing is just all the hail damage uh, if you can see that here in the in the video start seeing them kind of spring up from the glare uh, too many to count really but all over the, the hood there, you've got hail, hail dings, um, probably a hundred or so, and then a little bit here on the uh, top of that front quarter panel. Now, the rest of the sides of the body, I mean, you've just got little wear and tear, small little scratches here and there, uh, nothing major, you know, a tiny little door ding. Tires are so-so, wheels are in, uh, pretty good shape up front here you've got one spot of curbing but you've got um, power retractable steps you've got heated leather seats front middle con or front console you've got power there you've got heated second row bucket seats rear entertainment system power folding third row which we'll see here in the in the uh, rear hatch in a moment uh, again these are heated seats in the second row door doors look good floors look look good I mean you've got some wear here in this passenger side seat one little spot there but I mean for 187,000 miles and 13 years old I think it's in good shape um, you do have on the hood of or roof just like the hood a bunch of hail damage here on the top. Does have the sunroof, uh, but again, all throughout that roof there, and it's hard to get that to pick up, to be honest, in in the camera. Um, so I just want to be clear. It's got it's got more than you can see in the camera. Uh, but it does have the luggage racks already, the cross rails, cross beams ready to, to use that as well. Uh, just slight wear getting in and out of that power retractable step. Looks good. Sometimes you'll get rust and wear down in these doors, but this one looks good. The door there is not kicked up and scratched up. The tent does have a little bit of vertical scratch in the tent. But, I mean, nothing major. I don't think it's, if I was buying it, I don't think I'd replace anything as far as that goes. It's overall pretty good looking tent on it throughout. Coming to the back, rear hatch area is good. You've got power hatch. You've also got rele window release there. Shock still working good, holding that window up. And then you can also hit that button for the power rear opening. Also has a trailer hitch and the rear bumper, you know, very little wear and tear for the miles. Again, you've got power folding third row seats. Maybe some slight wear just in the corners where water likes to accumulate. A couple of little rust, uh, rusty or paint wear bubbling up there, but nothing major. Looking down this passenger side, again, very little wear and tear. These tires here are very deep in the back. Wheels look good. Those are actually new tires. A new tire there, it looks like. 
little surface scratch here and then another one here on the back door not deep but is across that paint again the front tires aren't new still got some life left though a little bit of road rash there but nothing major Again, let's open up this rear. Again, you can see this seat. There's a little hole there. Steps working. On this side as well. Those are heated side mirrors. Got some age into the seat, just where it's been used. It's not ripped up here, but does have those crease creases, deep creases into the age of the leather. It is an electric seat. You've got some wear into the paint of the uh, console air area. Those are heated and cooled seats up front. Again, your sunroof there. Let's go around and start it up. Power adjustable pedals. It is a turnkey ignition. Don't really hear any squeaking or anything. Powerful mirrors. Uh, you've got uh, navigation built into the screen. The screen's got a little bit of yellowing to it. As you can kind of see there. I don't know if that's part of the display or if it's just the age of the screen. but it does have a little bit of yellowing to it. It does have your backup camera as well. Again, uh, I think I already got that, but 188.099 on the odometer. Windshield looks to be in good shape from what I can see. Looks like maybe one little repair there on the uh, driver's side, very small. Got your sunroof there working. So hopefully that helps. Give you a good idea of the condition overall good and the bad with this vehicle again 2010 ford expedition two-wheel drive here at perkins motorplex in paducah kentucky